Price was the head of science research for the American Dental Association. He had a great interest in the anthropology of, of health and nutrition, so he would travel the world and study primitive people who lived off the land and found that the genetics and health and structure and lack or need, lack, need of orthodontics, uh, lacking need of fillings and tooth decay and gum disease, um, that these people were healthy. And as, as they lived naturally, like an animal who lives naturally, they had no diseases of the, of the mouth. Um, and as soon as sugars, as soon as the Western diet was introduced, the next generation, the generation after that, had tremendous amount of decay, tremendous amount of developmental um, problems orthodontically, uh, crowding not room for wisdom teeth. The whole structure changed within one generation. It wasn't genetic, it was dietary. <laughs> it was years ago that I went to a millennia university that Dr. Steinman discovered when I was in dental school in the 60s that our diet, high in carbohydrates, high in sugars, will reverse the flow of fluids in the tooth. The tooth is like any other organ of the body, is nourished by the blood. And that nourishment is actually the tooth sweats fluid through the through the inner part of the tooth, through the enamel. And when you have that flow of fluid going from the inside of the tooth out through the enamel, the tooth was self-cleansing bacteria were washed away by the by the f natural flow of fluids. So he discovered that at Loma Linda while I was in dental school. And it, it made such good sense because he found that people on a high carbohydrate, high sugar diet, that fluid flow reversed. The, the, what was on the outside of the tooth, because of the reversal of flow, was now sucked into the tooth. And so if bacteria or acids were on the outside, they were no longer on the outside. Now they were drawn into the enamel where those acids could break down and destroy the tooth. Bacteria viruses were now drawn into the roots and into the tooth and start to do damage. And so it was simply from diet. And you can see these flow patterns that were created through dietary change. Very monumental work, very interesting. It's not that the sugar laying on your tooth, even though it's acid, creates a cavity. It's that the sugar feeds the bugs that are on the tooth. The bugs multiply and give off acids, but then as the sugar goes into our body, it reverses that flow and draws those even deeper into the tooth so that the tooth is at risk. Well, number one would be Gatorade. Gatorade's the number one cavity break down drink on the market and it's related products yeah. um, things that are sweet and syrupy things that are sticky things that are are um, processed in a way where they don't contain any nutritional value just high caloric intake well I, I was just so pleased to watch the Queen of England and the and the president's wife out putting gardens in the White House and gardens at Buckingham Palace. If our society and, and people, and I, I noticed just even a few blocks from me, there's a little community garden. You know, with the recession, with the economy, as people get back to putting a little garden in their backyard, growing their own foods, it gives them pleasure, it gives the children the understanding of where food comes from and, and the satisfaction of of growing and eating homegrown things. It's just, I, I see it as a new way for, and a, and a hope for our time, for our life. Um, and so the more natural, the, and the wave of farmers markets all across the country is wonderful. So just supporting, supporting farmers markets, supporting doing our own growing of things where we can, just for the enjoyment. I see a lot of patients who trust their diet, they brush well, 
I see a lot of patients who don't like to floss. They maybe floss once a week. Or they say they floss, but they don't. And, um, and, and as important as flossing is, that, that removes, the brushing is only going to remove about 40% of the plaque. The, the flossing is going to make a big difference. And whether we eat right or we don't eat right, that plaque is still going to form on us. Eating perfectly will protect us from the plaque forming and the bad bacteria growing there. But um, so for the people who are, can't or aren't willing to floss, a lot of these power brushes, the, the ultrasonic brushes, or make a make a difference. They're helpful. Um, I really like the rubber tips, uh, which is a stimulator. A person takes around, stimulates the gum with it. It's easy to do. It can be used anywhere, and it it cleans the surfaces and the biofilm off with these little rubber tips. I'm very fond of those. Um, and um, that's what I would recommend. All my life I've tried to eat an optimal diet that wasn't enough. And then I watch other people who I know are, are not cheating on their diet. They're real strict. They're doing everything that's just right. And they have problems. So that the optimal diet is, is critical, it's important, but it's not a free pass. It's not going to get us out, get us out or keep us out of trouble. We need to have a trusting relationship with a biologic, holistic dentist, physician, caregivers that can take better care and watch over things that we're uninformed about, that can inform us, that can monitor our health in ways that we think we're smart about or we have pride in that we did this right and that right, but that doesn't necessarily save us. We need to be watched over by a multitude of eyes that protect our health. So as I, I see people who do everything right, they have periodontal disease and the genetic factors just leave them prone to that, or they have cavities still, um, and for some reason they're, they're drinking all the cank and water, and they're drinking this and doing that right, and their diets are, are pure, they're not sneaking out and having chocolate cake, whole cake on the side, uh, but they, there's the, the bacteria that cause these problems, the infections that, that cause these issues can grow just as well in a really good diet mouth and they need to have the proper protection from a good dentist, regular care.